In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated route combos out of the trips tight end formation in Madden 22. This is going to help you beat man to man. It's going to help you beat zone drives. It's going to help you beat match defense. Pretty much any way that people are going to try to defend you in this game, this is a great route combination for. Now, I've got the uh, kind of meta defense here up, the nickel 335 uh, normal and to the circuit 335 wide. And um, we're going to first just kind of show this concept against standard uh, plays. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to learn more about the trips tight end offense and the scheme behind everything, I would really encourage you to get my Patreon membership. It is only uh, it is only ten dollars to sign up for the Patreon membership, get you access uh, to literally everything over at the membership. And if you want to check it out again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video. Now the play that we're going to be taking a look at in this video is to play PA slot corner, but we're going to put a little bit of a twist on how we're going to use this play to be able to beat pretty much anything that our opponent is going to try to do. So what we're going to do with this play PA slot corner, a couple different things that you can do with this, but what I like to do is we have the play action blocking so we can actually use our tight end in routes if you don't know play action blocking allows you to pick up pretty much every popular five man pressure uh, in this game you just want to id um, this outside cornerback if they're going to try to send pressure off that side or if they're going to try to send pressure off this side you want to id this other corner now from a setup perspective it's fairly simple what we're going to do we are going to want to run this with our trips tight end our trips to the short side of the field at least in my opinion that's the best way to run this concept and essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to take our tight end and i like to put him you can leave him on the corner route if you want to but one of my favorite things to do with this tight end is we're just going to turn this into a mesh concept so i'm going to drag my tight end and then all i'm going to do is motion godwin across and i'm going to streak scotty miller and essentially, we're just going to have a high-low between these two drags and this motion over post. And what you're going to notice is this tight end drag is one of the most underrated routes in trips tight end. It used to be one of the most popular routes. This year, it's been a lot less utilized, and it is still a very, very effective route. Now, another thing that you can do if you wanted to is you could actually run a little bit of a little bit of a kind of a different nuance to the meshing concept. If you wanted to fade Mike Evans and then you want to drag Scotty Miller, you certainly can do that as well. Just kind of creates a tighter uh, meshing combination. But you'll literally see against every defense in the game, cover three, cover four, um, they basically have to hard flat to take the tight end drag away. And so what that's going to do is it's going to leave them vulnerable to this motion over post. So if you take a look at this, you're going to see I can pass lead this straight up, and you see how deep this post is going to get down the field. This is one of the hidden elements of trip side in that most people kind of sleep on, is the fact that these motion over routes are actually really, really, really good. Now, uh, I'm going to show you this against man-to-man -man first, and I, I think that man-to-man -man is one of the most popular ways that people are defending this concept. So again, real simple. What I like to do, if you're getting a lot more man-to-man, -man, I love to fade the outside guy instead of streak the slot. And the main reason why is just because if he gets jammed, a lot of times he can get over the top of that jam. But notice again, your tight end uh, drag is very effective against this, especially whenever you motion into a two by two set. So the tight end drag is really one of the best plays or the best routes in this play. And then your backside, you can honestly, like I said, you can do whatever you want. So if you wanted to leave Scotty Miller on his post, that's fine. Um, I personally don't like that. That, And the reason why is because they kind of create this, like, I don't know, they just kind of run into each other a lot. And, and I mean, you'll see here, like it beats man. But the problem that I find with that is it makes it, it's actually a hard read this year. Route combos like that to me are really hard to read because the user can kind of like run the routes into one another and basically make both of them like not very effective. So that's one of the other reasons as to why I typically will stay away from something like that. But I would be willing to say, you know, slant him. I think a slant is a really natural 
um, route if you don't want to use a drag because you got that drag right there and then you got that slant but then also if you take a look here and Godwin just got bagged I don't know why he got bagged so bad let me show you what Godwin can do for you um, against man to man now if you know it's man to man or if they're showing a man to man look I want to give you a little bit of a pro tip with this you'll notice that the motion snap this is one of the bag this is one of the um, con I think challenges uh with with this play is if you motion snap godwin and they man him up or he's in man coverage a lot of times you have to throw it kind of right there and eventually you see how he kind of gets outran to the post so that's a little bit problematic so how do we stop that the best way that i have found to stop something like that especially if they're shading and doing all that stuff the best thing that i have found to stop something like that is to let him set his feet and again, I like to run this to the short side. So you'll see he should be right about the numbers, right about there. And what you'll see is when he sets his feet, he gets a lot better separation um, against the against the man-to-man -man meta, okay? And then we're gonna show this against zone drops in just a second. You're gonna see why I like this so much against zone drops. If they're gonna play zone drops, this is one of my favorite plays for that. Um, and again, it's a little bit of a tell. Like if they're in man line and they're gonna run zone drops, like. You know okay we'll adjust you know based on tendencies or whatever um but typically speaking you know they're gonna they're not gonna run zone drops with man alignment um, but what you'll see here is that this post um if it doesn't beat man to man there it can beat it on the cut i'll show that real quick because Jair alexander is just crazy crazy bagging me right now but you'll see on the cut of this route it will get open and typically they're gonna have to chase like i said they're gonna have to chase that tight end drag so much that this can be pretty effective um and again just double drag just a little mesh post setup if you wanted to put a mike evans on a comeback against man you certainly can do that but you'll see like right here like right on the cut you're gonna get this aggressive catch and it's fairly consistent against man to man so when their user if you think about it their user is gonna have to chase this tight end drag so let's say that this guy right here is their user he's gonna have to to chase the, the tight end drag across the field because the tight end drag is so consistent against man to man so what will happen is their user will basically come out of the middle of the field and then you'll see here right on the cut even if i wanted to motion snap that that's going to be very consistent against um against you know the man to man meta okay so that's that's one way that you can kind of deal with the man to man stuff now the next thing that i want to show you is why i love this play specifically for um zone drops and i think this is a very good concept that you can rely on against a 30 yard cloud so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set up a kind of the meta mabel double mabel 30 yard cloud defense that a lot of people like to use against trips um and i think it's actually fairly decent but when you know it's coming it just comes down to can you find routes that get over 30 yard clouds I, I literally think it's that simple um it's been like that in madden for years and it's continuing to be the same one other little pro tip here you can flat this guy and what it will do is it'll pull all the zones to the outside it'll help against cover two with mike evans like there's some things you could do with that um if you wanted to run that flat as opposed to a double drag concept so you see how it opens up that right there so you could do that um you know that's fine um your tight end is going to be so effective in this play that you know like let, let me show you another example here so let's say that they're running like the man-to-man -man meta and they're going to run two purples if you if you drag scotty miller it's actually going to take him to the to the tight end but if you don't so you'll see here he's on a flat watch the see how the purple gets pulled out and i can turn that that's a i, I know that that's just a five yard gain but i'm just telling you that's a really annoying five yard game and a lot of times you can rely on that you can sit on that i'm telling you this tight end drag i've been using it a lot lately and it's just been very effective for me but anyways um if you if you if you don't want to do that that's fine you can do the double drags or double slants or whatever but what you'll see with this post is it will get over the top of the 30 yard cloud just pass lead it straight up on the sideline and you see how it gets over the top of 30 yard clouds now again it's really important in my opinion that if you're going to run this you want to motion snap him you don't necessarily want him to go out wide and i'll explain why real quick this is why if they're giving you a zone look i think it's really smart to motion snap him right there because if you let him go out here he's still open on the cut and he will get under the zone the problem can become if you take a look you need to throw this like right in here as opposed to where we were throwing it um, on the sideline. 
So the point is um, the user can have a little bit easier of a lurk because the user can just go to the drags um, and then he can you know, kind of come out here. Now, another little pro tip that you can use, let's say that you're trying to you know, really get, give the 30 yard or the double Mabel meta a problem. This is something that they're running consistently and their user is gonna sit in the middle of the field. One of the things that you can do is um, you can actually run a drag to your tight end. You're gonna streak Scotty Miller. And then what we're gonna do with Mike Evans is we're gonna put him on an underneath in route. And the reason I like the underneath in route as opposed to the drag, the drag you'll see it'll get over really quickly here. But then what it does is it leaves this route underneath that you can kind of rely on. Um, if you want to smart route it, you can if you're really worried about the purples, uh, the underneath purple zones. Most people though, um, they're not going to have a double. And, and, and I'll show you what you can do off of this. But this is just something that you can use. And the reason why I like this is because what this does is it keeps their user honest. And so I'll show you what I mean. So you'll see here that if their user's not like right in that little pocket, I can aggressive catch that all day long. So what their user is going to have to do is their user is going to have to uh, basically go with circle, okay? So if they go with circle, then what you'll see is now this backside in, and if you want to smart route it, you can, but it's, I'd like it just a five yard, just a simple underneath in route. The timing on this in is really good, and you'll see you can just kind of like pop it in between the zones. If you want to, you can also playmaker that route. Um, you could you could easily just simply playmaker that route, and again, that's against a drop eight coverage, um, you know. But as you can see, very effective. Now, the last thing I want to show you is a little bit more on this motion snap. To uh, I'm going to put the corner. If you guys don't know this by now, um, if you put this corner in a cloud versus this corner in a cloud he actually plays a lot better so i'm gonna put this guy in a, in a in a zone i'm gonna put this guy in a third or whatever and just play like a cover two mabel and i want to show you why this is such a good route now if you wanted to block your tight end you could sometimes i will do that where i block my tight end i wheel my running back i'll show you what that looks like so i'll wheel my running back and then i'll have this like playmaker hitch that i can go to right there um, and then just motion God went across and then I can playmaker the hitch. If I want to do something like that, that's fine as well. Um, and I'll just show it real quick. So what you'll see is why I like this hitch. This hitch is going to hold zones really well. And then you can kind of playmaker him. You see how that 30 yard cloud, my guy stopped running of course, cause I snapped it just a little bit too far over there, but you see how that 30 yard cloud kind of came inside. That's because of this hitch route. Okay. So you could, you could, if you wanted to do a concept like that as well. Uh, but I personally, I just like the play action blocking. You get so much that I just think it's much better to do something like this. Um, if you will. And then again, like I said, I want to show you cover two primarily with the 30 yard cloud kind of backed off a little bit and you just want to snap this guy like right when he passes the tight end. That's right about there. And what you'll see is his post, and of course I'm gonna get shattered, why wouldn't I? Classic practice mode. Um, you'll see that his post will get over 30 yards, even if it's from, even if it's a Tampa 2 30 yard cloud. So just a, and again, the sheds in practice mode are much, much more severe than the sheds in game. And you have play action blocking, so your running back will step up and pick up any pressure. So you're, you're, you're gonna have time is all, I'm, is all I'm getting at here. But anyway, what you should see here is this post. Just gonna pass lead it straight up and you see how that cloud doesn't follow him and he goes over the top of the 30 yard cloud so this is a concept that you can rely on to consistently beat every defense in the game including the double mabel meta this is also one of the things that we're finding with trips tight end right now if you guys didn't know a lot of people are running this quarter defense with zone with with no zone drops when you motion it completely messes up the defense and so running two by two combos, in my personal opinion, have bench have actually yielded a lot more benefit to me than running three by one combos, because when you run three by one combos, a lot of times the quarter can cause a lot of problems because a lot of the best routes in the formation go to Chris Godwin. So if you want to learn more about this offense and how to counter the meta and how to counter the way that anyone's going to defend you, how to pick up every blitz in the game, how to have an incredible balance with your offense, I would really encourage you to get my Patreon membership. Everything is in there, all of our eBooks. But what's cool about it is you don't just get our trip side in stuff, but you actually get all of our stuff. 
that we've been building all year. We've got over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks in there, and also have a ton of updates as well, just kind of weekly uh, little pro tips and things like that. So if you want to get access to that, that'll be linked down in the description. It's only ten dollars to sign up for that, um, and it gets you everything, gets you the trip stuff, gets you the bunch stuff, gets you all of that. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.